show tonight. So how did y'all like Red Black Maine? Did I get the name right? Red Black Maine? I thought they were cool. So, um, hey, my name is Tony, Tony Nazrell. I'm the founder and the president of the Murray Hill Theater. And I wanted to ask, how many people have never been here before for a concert? Are there any first timers? I see a few people, first timers. Lily, your first time here? <laughs> so um, what I wanted to do is just share a little bit about the theater, uh, what we do here and why. Um, the why comes from, and it's cool that Gary is here, because uh, basically back in 1982, when I was 20 years old, I made a commitment to the Lord. And I was coming out of a uh, pretty much a, a typical college age kind of party scene, far from the Lord. Made a commitment to my faith and was trying to figure out what was there to do in Jacksonville as a 20-year-old that wanted to avoid the temptations of, of the bar scene, which is what I was uh, kind of heavily steeped in. Just trying to figure out something else to do besides the bars. And I was really struggling in Jacksonville to find something fun to do on the weekends. And I stumbled across somebody told me about a place called the Fishnet. And uh, Gary was a regular with the Fishnet. And as a 20-year-old, from the very first time I walked into this little coffee house, it was a kind of a, I would call it maybe a leftover from the 60s coffee house. It was a very simple building. It wasn't fancy at all. Little stage, little concession counter, a couple games. I think it had a ping pong table, foosball table. Anyway, this little place called the Fishnet, when I walked in there, what I met was a bunch of young adults that were excited about their faith. They were wanting to walk the straight and narrow. They loved Jesus. And it was just a... It, was a, it wasn't necessarily a religious place, but it was a distinctively Christian place. It was a place where when I walked in, I could just feel the Spirit of God in the place. And, and as a 20-year-old trying to find some place to, um, to you know, get off the streets, it, just, it was a huge blessing for me. Every Friday night, the Fishnet would bring in a Christian rock band. And uh, so about a couple of, for, a, for a couple of years, every Friday night, I was at the Fishnet. The people that hung out at the Fishnet became my closest friends. And it was just a, it was a place I could invite my lost friends to come here, man. It was a place I could just hang out and just be encouraged. And so anyway, I left for college. I worked in Chicago for a couple of years. So when I came back to Jacksonville in 1987, I thought, hey, I'm going to go see what's going on in the Fishnet. And when I went there, I found out that they had torn the place down where it was and they built a new shopping center. So the Fishnet was gone. And in 1987, I had this little idea that, you know, that was, place was kind of cool. Somebody ought to do something like that. And basically, I spent like, you know, eight years thinking, somebody ought to do something like that. Somebody ought to do something like that. And I went on a church retreat. And at the church retreat, during the retreat, during a, a time of uh, just seeking God, I felt like God said, you know, you've been talking about somebody ought to do something like the fishnet. I think maybe you ought to do something like that. So I was like, well, okay, what do I do? Where do I start? So I was kind of looking around town trying to find some place that I could do something like the fishnet. And I found out that this building was trashed out and empty. After this building stopped showing movies, it was called The Dungeon. Does anybody remember The Dungeon? Dungeon. The Dungeon was a hardcore industrial club. War played here. All sorts of cool shows were here, I guess you could call it. But anyway, The Dungeon was very dark. It was, um, it was uh, kind of catered to the gothic crowd. It, it actually, the neighborhood of Murray Hill in 1995 was run down. The Dungeon didn't really help. It was Basically, The Dungeon lasted about eight months, and then they trashed out the building and they left. So when I stumbled across the building, the building was empty. It was trashed out. Um, Murray Hill had become riddled with literally crack addicts and prostitutes. It was a very rough neighborhood. But when I saw the building, I just felt like the, God said I could, I could, um, this would be a place to do something like the fish nest. So in 1995, I was able to buy the building. I formed a nonprofit organization. And um, the, the Times Union did a really nice story on us. And from the very first day that I took possession of the building, people from all over the community came out to catch the vision and said, you know, we think that'd be cool for Jacksonville to have some place that, that has live music that's alcohol free. Um, drug-free, uh, faith-based music, you know, just a cool vibe. And so um, this is a nonprofit organization. I've been privileged and honored to be able to donate the rent, donate my time to keep the place open. And, uh, uh, but I just tell you what, this place would not have stayed open if it weren't for two things, the local bands and the volunteers. So, um, so for all you bands that are there, I know this is your first time, well, first time on the big stage. But um, uh, so the theater has been going for 19 years now. And, um, and basically, what we're, we're still, even after 19 years, we're still trying to get the word out and let people know that, hey, we're open every weekend. We have cool stuff all the time here. We did a, a, a metal show last night, War of Ages. We, we got a bunch of cool shows coming up. We have um, a Red Collective we just booked. Uh, uh, Sleeping Giant we just booked. We, we booked all, anyway, a, a ton of cool bands. But uh, I just want to say thanks for coming out tonight. But if you all, all would, uh, you know, after you leave the theater, um, please help us tell pe let people know about us. Tell your friends, tell the people you work with, tell the people you go to school with, you go to church with, that, that we're here all the time. We'd love people to get connected with us. We have a mobile app. In fact, if anybody has a smartphone, an Android or a iPhone, I would encourage you to take your phone right now and go to the App Store or the Google, what do they call it, Google Play? 
So anyway, and uh, download our app. And uh, if, you, if you don't want to do that, then um, connect with us on Facebook or Twitter, or uh, go to our webpage and sign up for our email. We send an email out to like 5,000 people every week. So we'd love to, to, so basically what we're saying is I'd love to get the word out and to connect with you and your friends so that, so that when we have events like this, we even have uh, more people coming. So, um, so that's kind of the story of the Murray Hill Theater. We're here um, you know, pretty much every weekend, and one of the things we want to make sure we do is we want to make sure we let people know that, um, that it's cool to have a place like this just to come and have fun, but what's even more cool is to tap into the power and the presence of the living God. And if there's anybody out there that's never, never experienced that, never asked Jesus into your life, that's one of the things we just like to let people know is that God is alive, he loves you, and if you don't know him in a real way, uh, that even tonight you could, you could uh, come to know him in a real way. So uh, if you don't know anything about that or want to talk about that, I suspect everybody here probably the probably all believers here, but if there's anybody that has questions about that or wants to know why I believe or things about faith, I love just talking about that. So um, grab one of us. We love to talk, pray with you, whatever. Um, but uh, and then the last watch I think just pulled up. The man that's playing next had a flat tire, so they were running late. So that's why I, I figured I'd uh, take a little bit of your time. But anyway, um, so make sure you connect with us before you leave. Like us on Facebook. Uh, sign up for our email. Um, Download our app, you know, whatever. Uh, in fact, while you're here, I wanted to check in on Facebook or tweet about it or whatever. Just let people know what you're doing. And, um, and uh, help us spread the word. So thanks so much. And if you want to volunteer, we can use more volunteers. That'd be awesome. Also, we are a tax exempt 501c3, all that kind of stuff. So if you wanted to bless this organization, it's been kind of tough keeping the bills paid. But we've kept the bills paid. So praise the Lord. We're, we're in our 19th year. So without any further ado, these are my good friends from the Christian Life Church. And they are called CLC, so please welcome them. Uh -huh. 